All right, so let's take a look at this next part. Here we're looking for total momentum. Total momentum is a main part of the idea for conservation of momentum. Uh, we saw conservation of energy in the last problem set. I think here we're not going to have quite as much trouble. We don't have quite as ugly questions on some of this. Um, so, you know, it, it won't be too bad. Um, you want to think of total momentum the way you think of total anything. So, you know, if I'm looking for the total here, then I need to find whatever my first momentum is and whatever my second momentum is and so on and so forth. If I had six different things that were going to run into each other, I don't want to add all those up and find the total. Okay, so we do have to be careful here because these separate momenta can work against each other. Notice that one person's running north, the other person's running south. So we do need to pay attention to integers and, and signs. Typically, we would say that the north is positive and the south is negative just because it's up and down if we're looking at a map. Um, you can decide the opposite of that. And as long as you're consistent, you'll still get the same answers. All right, but here, working through, um, for the first part, first mass is 155 kilograms. So think about it, right? Momentum is mass times velocity. So this is going to be m1, v1. And then here, mass times velocity, m2, v2. And so we can use that if we want to show a little bit more detail on where this comes from um, to start plugging into our formula. So mass is here. A positive, just to make sure I remember to look at the, the direction there, 1.6 meters per second. And plus sign, there's another momentum here. This player's mass is 104 kilograms, but this time they're running south. So negative 1.37 meters per second. Okay, so then working this down, notice kilograms times meters per second. That's going to give us the types of units we're looking for. This other one's going to be the same thing. So the units won't change at the end. We'll just get a bigger or smaller number, depending on what the signs and, and numbers are. Um, working this down a bit, we can simplify in pieces. The momentum of the first player ends up being 258.85 kilograms times meters per second. And then minus, see the, the negative sign here, so we can subtract the end, um, 142.48. So that number comes, of course, from multiplying those. Then now we've got a positive momentum from one and negative momentum from the other. We can see how they partially cancel each other and see what's left over. And so the total momentum is just whatever final answer we get from here. Uh, 116.37, and again, it's that combination of units. It's almost a Newton, but not quite.